G'day again. So a lot of you asked for this video on how to strip down and clean the uh, Adler B220. So I'm not going to talk too much in this format. I'm going to move the camera so you can get a better look. Short, sharp, how to strip it down and what I would do to clean it. But cleaning's the thing that you can figure out yourself, I guess. But I'll give you some tips. Let's get into it. All right, let's crack straight into it. So first thing, obviously, you're going to check it's clear, safe. Yep, it is clear. Now, you can do it two ways. You can either have the action cocked or you can have it decocked. I prefer to have it decocked. It doesn't really matter how you strip the weapon though. So, now it's clear. The first thing I'm gonna do is we have uh, this nut up here. I don't know the actual fucking component names. Actually, fun story before I go into stripping this. Um, I actually went online. There is no fucking manual for this available at the time of me making this video. Um, However, I did email Adler and asked them for an operator's manual and I got no reply. I emailed them probably two or three times, no reply. So I decided to uh, strip it down myself and figure out how it's done to show you guys how it's done. Um, so obviously the part names are what the fuck I would call them. I don't know what the actual names are because there's no such thing as a manual for this gun. Anyway, let's move on. So this locking nut here, it's gonna be on your magazine. Um, it's got a little spring-loaded tang in it and if you, Reef on it hard enough with your fingers, you'll be able to pop it off. Um, you may need to get some rubber pliers though. Depends on how strong your fingers are. So you can hear that click and that's, um, there's a rib section on the back of it, which I'll show you in a second, uh, on a spring-loaded knob. That's it disengaging. Now once you've done that, you can just screw it straight off and that whole thing will pop off there. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll get a close-up of it for you in a second. Uh, it's got little ridges on there. When you pull these off, you'll see that. Place that off to the side. All right, so we got that off. The next part is super fucking easy. All right, grab your receiver, grab your forend, so your barrel and your uh, forestock here. Grab it, give it a little shake and pull. All right, and that's gonna pull your barrel free from the receiver. What you're gonna do then is pull down on your forestock, pull it back, and that's gonna come off. You're gonna see that it has a little um, fucking, this little jobby in here that sits up behind this ring. Cool. All right, that's our barrel off. All right, for the cocking handle, this is probably the part that's most pertinent for most of you because you probably wanna know how to change your cocking handle over. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna pull back on the working parts here slightly it's a little hard to do for the camera and not do it retarded. So pull it back slightly and then you're gonna see on this reverse side, there is a little half moon on the top edge of this slot. You're trying to line up the center of that cocking handle with that half moon, but you're also trying to line up at the same time the bolt carrier that's in line with the half moon on this side. Um, when you're looking at your own gun, it'll make more sense to you. Um, so bolt carrier and the bolt are aligned. It's aligned with that. All right, then pull, just pull out on your cocking handle. Oh no, it's not aligned, there we go. All right, and that will pop straight out. Um, the only thing that's holding that in is on the bottom there's a little hole in there and there is a spring-loaded ball bearing lock uh, inside the bolt carrier, which I'll show you later. All right, that's now on spring tension. All right, release that forward, grab the whole thing, spring and all, just like that. Pull it straight off and now you have your receiver stripped. That's as far as I'm going to strip the receiver itself. You can take the trigger mechanism out by punching that pin out. I don't want to do that on my gun just in case I fuck it, but if you want to go that far, feel free. There's a pin right there above the trigger group. Punch that pin out and you should be able to drop the whole trigger mech out. All right, so onto this part here. All right, first things first, we're going to get our bolt, lift it up, come straight off the bolt carrier. And then going to get our action, uh, operating arm, all right, that lifts out like this. So on the front edge, it has a burr that goes underneath this part, and on the back, it's locked in the back here. So just pick it up on a 45, pull it straight out. All right, and then pull your spring straight out of this fucking, whatever the fuck that's called, that thing. Cool, that's now stripped. Super simple, super easy. And now you can go on with cleaning it. So things I would do to clean it, um, pull the barrel through with a bore snake. That's about all I'd do. I'd clean. Just on here, that's a little locking um, 
locking shoulder for the top of your bolt here. That's your lock on your bolt. So it physically locks it into battery uh, like so. That would be in lock position. Cool. So that's that. The bolt itself, you can't strip that down any further. Um, potentially, if you really wanted to, you could punch the pins out and pull the firing pin out and do all that sort of stuff. But you can get in there, you can clean the face of the bolt, the extractor, the lock, um, all that. Cool. All right, on the operating arm, you've got this little groove here, and that's where your ball bearing is, and that's where your cocking handle locks in. So, like that, or like that. Cool. Um, what else would I clean? Spring, yeah, it might have some oil on it. You could probably give that. I've got a little bit of oil here, which I'll probably give a wipe down. Um, it's not really that dirty. I actually just gave it a clean before filming this, so it's not too bad. Um, look, lubricating, I wouldn't go over lubricating this because it is a shotgun and it's straight pull operated, so it's not really gonna fail. It's not like it's a semi-auto. Um, it's not really gonna fail up that much. Uh, but if you really wanted to, yeah, you could put a little bit of oil um, in your bolt on your firing pin spring, uh, maybe a little bit on your spring, I probably wouldn't though, maybe graphite powder if you're really that way inclined. Uh, and maybe some in the trigger group um, and you can get to the back of the hammer there and all that sort of stuff like that. Cool, so that's it, that's it stripped. Um, there probably is a way of taking the tube mag out but I don't know how to and I think it's fine as it is. Um, so let's go back with assembly. So, way to assemble this, easiest way, so let's get our operating rod back on to whatever the fuck this thing is. So opposite to how we pulled it out, 45 degree angle in at the front, drop it down, it's gonna lock. All right, once we've got that, spring straight in that hole, hold that there, bolt literally just sits straight back down on the top. When we put this back into the receiver, this um, the movement of this is gonna have to be precise so that we can get that lined up to get the cocking handle back in. Cool, so we've got that. We want to get our tube mag and stick it up on the inside of that spring. Slide it all the way back. All right, pull back until the recess lines up. And then you're going to have to move the black part, which is your bolt carrier, until everything aligns. Get your cocking handle and pop it in. Obviously, if you wanted to go that side, you could. And fuck it, why not? I might, for the purpose of the rest of this video, I might stick it in that side there. Cool. All right, so once you've got your cocking handle back in, you're then going to assemble the foregrip, or forestalk, whatever the fuck you want to call it, back onto the weapon, correct it back onto the barrel. So you've got that bridge, as I explained before, that's gonna go on back behind this. So going from the back to the front, slide it on. It's gonna sit like that. All right, put your magazine up through the foreguard, foregrip, forestalk, whatever the fuck you want to call it. All right, once you get to this point here, all right, it is a pain in the ass to get this part of the chamber into the barrel past the bolt. All right, so what you're gonna do is, if I can still keep this in frame, yes I can. All right, you're gonna cock the weapon while pulling the barrel in. All right, everyone happy with that? That's in. Weapon is pretty much assembled now, except for our lock nut. That's gonna go on. Put it back on and then turn it until you hear that ratchet closed. That's about tight enough. Cool. All right, now, moment of truth. Let's check that it does work correctly. So, cock it. All right, that works. Fire it. Okay, that works. And it locks open on empty. Happy days. I'm now happy that I've reassembled that correctly. So, that is uh, how to disassemble and reassemble an Adler B220, hope you got something out of that. Um, if you want more videos like this, hit me up. Uh, every time I get a new gun, I'm probably gonna do a video similar. Um, just got my hands on a Remington 7615, so if you wanna see that get stripped, leave it in the comments. If not, then I'll go fuck myself. Anyway, catches.